All right, here we go. Some more right triangle trig coming up. Fourth hours watching us right now while I'm making this video. Isn't that neat? That's an inside joke for fourth hour only. All right, so we're going to learn some new. We, we talked about sine, cosine, and tangent. And now we're going to look. So here's a little review of the three we talked about yesterday. Here's sine, opposite over hypotenuse, cosine, adjacent over hypotenuse, tangent, opposite over adjacent. Today's going to be a much shorter lesson, quick, right to the point. Here we go. We have three new ones that I don't think you ever saw before in geometry class, ever. This is all new, right now. This one's called cosecant. This is secant and cotangent. I guess maybe I should bring out the full words for you there, although we're never really going to write it. But it would be cosecant, secant, cotangent. But the symbols we're going to use are right here. CSC, SEC, COT. And it's quite simple. All we're doing is cosecant is the reciprocal of sine. That's why I put it next to sine here. Secant is the reciprocal of cosine. And cotangent is the reciprocal of tangent. So cosecant is hypotenuse over opposite. Secant is hypotenuse over adjacent. And tangent is adjacent over opposite. That's really it. I'm going to do a few sample problems using those new definitions, but it's going to feel just like the other lesson, only with these new ratios right here. So here's a problem. The, the question says find the cosecant of this angle right here. So cosecant, the first thing you want to do is get it straight in your head, which, which one's which. Cosecant is the reciprocal of sine. So cosecant of any angle is hypotenuse over opposite. So you can still think of it like SOHCAHTOA, but instead of opposite over hypotenuse, it's going to be hypotenuse over opposite. So know that cosecant is the reciprocal of sine. That's something you're going to need to get straight in your head. And then we just flip these two letters around like that. In this triangle, we have the opposite from this angle, it's 8, and we have the hypotenuse, which is 10. So all we're doing, instead of writing, like with sine, we would write 8 over 10, you know, opposite over hypotenuse, we're going to write 10 over 8. So cosecant theta is 10 over 8, and, you know, we should reduce that fraction to 5 fourths. That's it. That's just a warm-up one. Really not finding anything. We're just proving that we know what cosecant is. Hypotenuse over opposite. This one's going to be a little bit more interesting because there's no picture. Kind of like we did the other day. Just different ideas of, this, of the same rules. So this one, we're going to draw our own picture. We're going to make a triangle. It's a right triangle. And we're going to have to call something A because they want, it says here, secant A. We have a B and a C. It's just a, whenever they don't give you a picture, you, usually there's letters A, B, C. So we're going to make a triangle A, B, C. We always want to call the right angle C. And remember that, it's just like the other lesson, the little C is always across from the big C. So this will be 25. And the little B goes across from the big B, so this will be 20, and the question says find the secant of angle A. Well, secant is the reciprocal of cosine, so if cosine equals adjacent over hypotenuse, then secant equals hypotenuse over adjacent. And from angle A, we have both of those things. This is the hypotenuse, 
and this is the adjacent. This is opposite over here. We don't care about it. We don't have it. We don't even, it doesn't matter. Very simple problem. Secant of A equals 25 over 20. And once again, we should reduce when we can. Divide both of those by 5, and you get 5 over 4. One more example. And it really isn't any different. I'm just kind of mixing it up here. This one's a cotangent. Cotangent, well, let me actually remind you first once again. Tangent of an angle is opposite over adjacent. So cotangent is adjacent over opposite. The reciprocal of tangent. From this angle right here, this is opposite over here and we still need opposite see how we, we're going to need adjacent and opposite and we don't have it right now so this problem requires a little more work we're going to we have to find this so that we can do adjacent over opposite this is adjacent this is the hypotenuse let me label those for you real quick this is h this is a and this is going to be o we need A and O for this. We don't. We didn't need this. We're going to need it. You'll see why. But we really need this and this. So we're going to use this and this to find that Pythagorean theorem. So it's going to be. I'm going to just going. I'm going to actually call this x right here. So it's going to be x squared plus 2 square root of 23 squared equals 24 squared. That's x squared plus, so now we have 2 squared and square root of 23 squared. Well, 2 squared is 4, and square root of 23 squared cancels each other out to make 23. So this is actually 46. No, not 46. 4 times 23, 92. And then 24 times 24 is 5, 7, 6. Then we're going to subtract 576 <coughs> minus 92. Got my calculator out here. It's equal to 484. And then just hit your square root of that, and you get 22. We're not done with this problem, but we're pretty much done with the problem. This was 22, which is this, which was this opposite side from the angle. See, this is the angle that we care about, and that's the side opposite that, or across from it. So since this is 22, and we were looking for adjacent over opposite, let's get back to, remember what we're trying to do here, it's find cotangent. We know tangent is this, TOA, tangent is opposite over adjacent, so cotangent is adjacent over opposite, adjacent, opposite, adjacent, opposite. 2 square root of 23 over 22 which is a pretty good answer except there's one more little thing we can do we have a 2 and a 22 right here that could reduce to 1 over 11 so the best answer to this is square root of 23 over 11 that's it short and sweet just wanted to introduce to you um, the three other trig ratios that you really haven't seen but it's just flipping everything around and just trying to build up our skills here so we can so we can move forward so uh work hard be nice see you soon